Would you believe me if I told you that the absolute far northern edge of the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex is about to be the middle? The growth to the north is huge. It's unbelievable. We'll get into the details here in a minute of 1,600 acres that just sold recently almost exclusively exclusively for residential real estate development, basically building houses all north of what two years ago was considered the absolute northern edge. So depending on when you're catching this video, it's relevant for a lot of reasons. Lots of folks have been thinking about making a move to Frisco, Salina, McKinney, the Northern Edge, what used to be really the top, top, top of the Dallas side of the Metroplex. But they've really been hesitant to move beyond that. Well, if the evidence wasn't there before, it is there now that the growth will continue north and will do so at a rapid rate. Now, no one knows where the future lies, but there's at least probably 20 years worth of growth basically already committed to with land purchases, development deals, massive corporate relocations. And it is very real to consider that Frisco itself may end up being at or very near the center of where the Metroplex, the DFW Metroplex will be, especially the Dallas side over the next 20 to 30 years. I mean, that's baffling. If you are from the Dallas area, you, you probably never would have even considered that. Now, Dallas is a unique area, and I'll give you some history if you're not from the area. Maybe you're thinking about making a move to the area or you're newer to the area, thinking about making a permanent move here. Now, Dallas is a unique city in that downtown Dallas, you know, loosely speaking, is actually the southern part of the overall Dallas community. There are definitely some cities and areas south of Dallas, but not a lot. Most of the population and the development is to the north, in both east and west directions. North and west of Dallas, you get towards Fort Worth and the airport. So obviously there's extensive growth out to the west. There's pretty good growth to the east and there's been almost constant growth to the north uh, throughout the history of, of Dallas's developmental growth. Obviously there have been periods of lack of, or, or slower development, but we're in a sustained period of rapid development and it is going north and north in a big, big way. Fort Worth is a little bit different. Fort Worth has grown a little bit more to the south and a little bit, a lot to the west, some to the north, and certainly between Dallas and Fort Worth, what would be west of Dallas and east of Fort Worth has almost entirely grown together. But Dallas right now is growing in a big way to the north. So there used to be big gaps between kind of Dallas proper and suburbs like Richardson and Plano, and then big gaps all the way up to McKinney and up to Frisco. Now those gaps have basically closed in. And now we're closing in the gaps between Frisco and smaller towns and cities to the north. And truthfully, it won't be long, I believe, until we've closed the gap between Dallas and the Oklahoma border to the north, Lake Texoma in cities around there. But we had 700 acres sell recently, almost exclusively for residential development in the Salina area, alongside what will be a northern extension of the Dallas North Tollway, which is the tollway it runs kind of on the western edge of what used to be the bulk of the development in Dallas and now is really splitting a lot of the development in Dallas and heads up north is going to bend a little bit east and continue up north. 700 acres along what will be the Dallas North Tollway will produce somewhere in the ballpark of 2,500 single family residential homes. I'm sure along with that will be some multifamily, commercial development, restaurant, entertainment, parks, recreation. Along with that development, there's supposed to be a really great hike and bike trail that will give people access to downtown Salina, which it's kind of funny to say, to be honestly, to be honest, downtown Salina hasn't amounted to much for a long time, a very small area, which is rapidly growing. And this uh, uptown development is the one we're talking about, will produce massive, massive growth. That's the smaller of two recent land purchases for the purpose of residential development. 900 acres up in and around Gunter, Texas, which is northwest of Salina uh, and, and almost due north, north slightly west of Prosper, due north, north to the northwest of Frisco, 
900 acres, which will probably produce 3,000 plus, if not more, single family homes, but also more homes on top of that when you think about multifamily, townhomes, condos, and the potential for a bunch of mixed use development there as well. So between just those two land pur purchases, we're talking about five to 6,000 homes, which in our market probably is, you know, 20 plus thousand new residents in those areas, which will then create a domino effect and feed other commercial development office space, parks and recreation, movie theaters, schools, hospitals, you know, travel hubs, and on and on and on. These are just two, and we're highlighting them because they are large contiguous land purchases. But think about all of the six acre and 35 acre and 50 acre land purchases, land sales that will, will create corporate, uh, you know, corporate campuses, uh, townhome communities, small single family developments, or honestly, large single home family developments that will look small compared to these huge ones. You know, we've got the PGA of America putting huge uh, corporate campus up there with golf courses and all sorts of entertainment opportunities. We've got minor league ballparks. We've got hockey, baseball, soccer, major league soccer, and on and on and on that are all within minutes, all within a short drive of these land purchases. So. We're talking about what used to be the northern edge constantly being redefined with new northern edges. And I, I you know, as a, as a 20 plus year real estate agent and broker in the area, we see that simply continuing. Now, over the next 20, 30, 40 years, will we see some cyclical speeding up and slowing down? Probably. No one has a crystal ball. We will probably see that. But we're definitely looking at decades of growth in the residential market to the north and with all logic pointing to that residential growth driving you know commercial growth and office growth and healthcare growth and all these other intangibles that follow growth of communities people moving to the area sort of demand and create opportunities for these other businesses and services and and uh, amenities so expect that to the north if you're living in another state and you're thinking about making a move to the area, a lot of people are looking at these northern areas because they can find newer homes at slightly more affordable prices, and they can enjoy living in a new, clean, safe, fresh area. That's simply going to continue, right? And that doesn't mean that other areas in the Metroplex aren't wonderful places to live. There are similar developments to this happening northwest of Fort Worth with massive planned communities like Walsh Ranch and huge developments east of Dallas out in communities like Nevada. Um, you know, there's massive growth in Allen and Fairview, um, you know, Louisville and the colony and areas like that have been blown up for a long, long time now. And then again, there is growth to the south. But right now, the massive density of growth and the rapid, rapid, rapid rate of growth on the Dallas side of things is to the north. I would be keeping my eye on it if I were you. I will be keeping my eye on it for you. So you keep your eye on this YouTube channel. You can check out videos about little communities in those areas and then the overall massive community that is Dallas or Dallas Fort Worth. I'm a real estate broker here. We help people buy and sell houses. If we could ever serve you in that way, just head over to our website at overunderagent.com or all of our contact information will be below this video. Check out the rest of the channel. There's lots of videos on lots of communities and reasons to move here, stay here, and all the great things about our community. I'll catch you on the next one.